are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people that support this channel on patreon Glenda, Lori, Jeannie, Lena, Donna, Ron, Sandy, Susan, Dawn, Robin, Deb, Dolphin, Leticia, Leilani, Aid, Amanda, Kara, Becky, Joanne, Tammy, Julie, Judy, Vivian, Sherry, Gerilyn, Darlene, Terry, Cheryl, Ramona, Kelly, Cindy, Linda, Kiona, Erica, Brenda, Jean, Sonia, Carla, Deborah, Roxanne, Connie, Janet, Carrie, Latasha, Paula, Terry, Zita, and Lisa. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good afternoon. We're back. For those of you that were just here in the video, uh, we're going to pretend it didn't happen because it's going to get deleted. So if you if you want to make this project, you're here. So we're going to show you again. Or this is your first time seeing it. It could be. <laughs> and Happy New Year. Yeah, New Year's Eve. And then if you're watching it tomorrow, Happy it's New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, so I made these huge bags. Uh, we did this. There is a video link possibly in this video. For these bags, I'll double check, make sure it's there. Also, That's a bow I made. He made the bow. He made that bow better than my bow. My bow is still on the table, and my bow didn't turn out as well. He's proud of his bow. So we made these bags. I made these bags to prepare. I didn't make these bags. You said we made these bags. Mm. You didn't make either one, did you? No. Oh. I, uh made them to prepare for the project today. The project today was is the entire project. Like I The know. reason why she yeah, made those. Made those bags. I don't know where my other chat is. We are live on Twitch and YouTube. Thank you for joining. So today we're we're making an advent calendar gift bag. So it's gonna be kind of like that gift bag but it's going to be an advent calendar but i'm not using it as an advent calendar for christmas you know because that happened last week and because i thought this is an amazing you know how uh people like me like to celebrate their birthday all month long or uh you want to give somebody a gift that lasts longer than one day or count down to Valentine's, or have 25 days of Valentine's, or um, no. <laughs> I'm making one that is, I'm calling it my gratitude bag. This is would be a great bag to cheer somebody up. Gratitude for, calendar, advent calendar bag. Not really a calendar. Not a calendar. Advent Although calendar? This, no. this file has two files. One has perforation for people that have the maker, and the perforation tool. That's one of my favorites if you don't have it. And they're 50% off right now. You can buy those bundles on Cricut. I just thought of that. I saw the bundles. And you can use my code HAPPY. If Please use my link in the description. I do get a small commission when you use my link. Um, but what was I going to say? I oh, up to I'm, I'm making this um, as a gratitude bag. And so I'm putting candy inside and notes. So every day I'll open it up and read what I'm grateful for. And um, I also think this would be a great bag for um, people that need some pick-me-ups or some inspiration or they're just really down. Um, opening up one of these things every day would just make them feel good. And I have more ideas than just the bag. We got more coming. So subscribe to my channel and like these videos if you like them. Um, I have not shared this file yet. I will share it with everybody who supports my channel of $2 or more on Patreon and YouTube of $4.99 and Facebook for $4.99. You will get this file. Uh, you'll get three files. One for the maker, one for the explorer. So you don't have to have the perforation tool. You don't have to have the maker to use it. 
and one for the numbers because this file is gigantic and it's gigantic and you have to cut it twice. I almost didn't say that before. Let me show you. So this is the file. You don't have to have this stuff in it like that thing. It's a free decoration. Uh, the file is completely out of free images. This is only half of it. So let me show you how to cut it twice. If you don't know, let me just scoot that over. When you get my files, if you don't want to change them, you can change the colors. I'm using the holographic card craft board. So I'm using four colors, I think. And all you have to do is hit make it. Project copies. Yes, right here. You change that to a one and click apply. No, no, you, you change it from one to, to a two. two. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Welcome, Tina Holland. So then all you do is cut it. This is the... I also didn't cut the bow. I did include the bow on here. The bow is not a complete free image. So this part is the bow. Uh, so if you want to do the bow... If you don't have access, that might cost you. You don't need to use do the bow. Um, that's just, I just included it in the file. Uh, but if you don't have access and you don't want to pay a penny, just hide that. And you can hide it somewhere here in the layers panel. There's a lot of layers. Hmm. Where is that bow? It's somewhere. You can, is it grouped? No. Let me group this together. Group. So now all you have to do is click this and then click the eye on that group. Got it? Okay. Okay, now let's get busy. We have so much to do. I have to go back to working now. Yes, okay. So let me show you, I really wanted, I did both files and um, so I did, oh, that one did pop open. So this is the one, this is just part of the bag and this is the one that does not have perforation and it's just put together at the corners here. And we put these tabs in here. We're also making these boxes. So the these boxes will be on the bottom of these. That's what uh, we're making here today. And he's helping me and put candy in them so we can go much further, much faster. This one, this one I, <laughs> this one I did not put on very well. Um, so then I thought we need to make this easier. So then I used my ruler and a pen and try to make lines so I know where to line these up when we glue these boxes on, okay? And we're gonna show you how to do everything. Now, let me also tell you, uh, I don't suggest using this. Mm. This is making it more difficult because it's shiny and it does not glue well, okay? Paper, like I used on the other part of the bag, will work much better. This is taking much more time because it's hard to glue because we have to make these little boxes and I have to use these little clips to hold down the flaps so they will glue together. And we're, I'm gonna show you how to do all of these. Uh, so let me show you how this works. This is the perforation. I'm gonna go ahead and open one up even before we have the bag together. So you don't have to watch the entire video to see how it works. But you just pick up the tab. It might be easier if the bag was actually, there we go. And I made these little notes, right back all the way. I made these little notes that you can cut. Um, 
says, I am grateful for what I have. Um, but you can write anything on here. You can write little love letters for a Valentine. You can um, just say something good about the person you're giving it to. You know, that type of thing. Just give them maybe like a, what are the Chinese cookies? Fortune, fortune. cookies. <laughs> maybe put like a fortune cookie type thing in it. Or you don't even have to put a note in there. And then you got candy. Now, this candy, these Ghirardelli's fit in here. Once you take them out, you cannot get them back in. Can you take them out? Yes, I did. I tested it. See? And then you got a pretty box on the inside, and these fit in. Now, these are, you have to put the candy in before you glue it on. That's, there we go. Um, we have these little Santas, even though Christmas is over. What else? We have these Reese's Thins fit in here better. If you can get these individually wrapped. So, is this a project you guys think you'd like to do? Okay. Let's show you how to do the box first. So the box comes like this. And now we're going to do the opposite than that we usually do. So usually we would make the pretty part the outside of the box. But today we're going to make the pretty part the inside of the box. So when you open it, you will have pretty. Okay. So it has score line here, here, and, you know, all the way around like that. Can you see those score lines? So you, you fold that up and then fold the little one down. Fold it up. And the more you do, it really is easy the faster you go. Don't worry if you didn't get this one. I have three more to do. And then, so we fold it up all the sides. And then we have these two sides and these two. So these are gonna go on the outside. Normally when you do a box, you make the outside pretty and you put the tabs on the inside. Today, we're doing tabs on the outside of the box. Now, if you were just doing paper, you just glue these down, press it for a second and you're good. Yeah, Be which would be wonderful. Yeah, but because we're using pretty shiny paper, it does not glue as quickly. So I'm using these little clips. These are like sewing clips. A lot of you guys have these, I know. Uh, there's a link for them on Amazon in the description. So what I do is I'm putting art glitter glue. There's no glitter in it. Get it from May May Made It. And I am going to, I have glue on both of these tabs and I'm gonna pull this up against those and kind of just put this down on it so it will hold it so I don't have to hold it. We're going to have to sweep after this. Yeah, because all these little... They're just sticking to my fingers and then, then they fall off randomly. They won't come off my hand. Yeah, so to glue these uh, onto this box, we are using this red tape. Do you want to show them the tape? That red tape. It's very thin. Yeah, we're going to use that with the red tape and the glue to get it onto the box. And I will show you that too. It's double sided tape, so you have to peel each one. Yeah. Now, like if we were just doing regular paper, cardstock, we wouldn't have to use that tape. Yeah. Should have done that. <laughs> okay, so I just folded all these up, fold up and then back. And then I'm closing these and folding those in, 
putting glue on the tabs. And then I'm gonna, I'm using this finger, my index finger, and I'm just gonna pull that up. And then use these to hold those down. And then do the same thing here. Now, you might wanna watch this video as you're putting it together. Do we got this? Do you guys think you know how to do that? <laughs> oh yeah, you could. Uh, Helen suggests taking an emery board to the piece that you need to put glue on to adhere it to. That's a great idea. I never ever heard of that or thought of that. It's from the static. Putting glue on the little tabs. Holding that up. And putting the clips on. And then we are going to um, show you how to put these on oh, just hold that I found it's much easier just to hold this and do both of them at the same time I was doing one side at a time putting glue on it then pinning it then putting glue on okay I got one okay we're gonna go ahead now the next step you have to do is put these things in. Now, again, I would just normally glue this, but this is the perforation one, okay? There is a slit inside the middle of each of the perforated boxes. That is to put the little tab. So you're going to put that in, and then you can glue it. I'm adding a little glue to this, and then this tape in the middle will hold it on there. So we're gonna glue that there, okay? And where are all of these? So we're gonna just do that again a few more times. It might be, oh, and I put tape on the wrong side on some of them. I'm like, oh no, that's the wrong side. He has Everything. the little peelings, but it's helping a lot. I don't know if it's in my hat, on my hat. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. I suggest you, Put the glue on after you get that little tab in. If you did hot glue, you'd have to do, um, really thin pieces of hot glue, I think.
Okay, now I'm going to show you what we did to put the tape on these. I need the scissors. So on this big fat tape, just cut that off. You put it on the front where you don't think you need it. And Oh, I did tape that one. So then you stick it in here. You could put a big piece of tape on there and not um, use glue. Or you can just use glue if you're using regular cardstock. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start putting the box on here. So I'm going to take one of these and a note. Do you, where's the notes you wrote on? Uh, is it there? These? No. Oh, are they over here? Yeah. I had Alex write some notes. Oh, wait a minute. This is the same color as the other one. Let's do a different color. Also, before you put this on, I like to smash it down just to make sure it's all like scored properly. Put the candy in. Put the little note in. Of course, you oh, you could put money in here. Cash. Where's your cash, Alex? It's in my wallet. <laughs> Not in the box? No. So I'm going to take... I don't know why I just chose one that you didn't already peel it off for me. I'm gonna peel oh, off. There's a lot of those. It's proof. It's all. Oh, now it's over there. Yeah, you can move that for me. It feels like it's just on my fingers when it's not. Oh, oh now it is. Alex does not like this tape, I see. But it's really strong tape. It's really yeah, good tape. So I'm going to put glue on each edge. I'm only using the tape so it will help me hold, hold this glue on. So I want to make sure this does not stay on. I kind of trust the glue more than the tape. And where's the front? Try not to put it on upside down. Although it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. How would it be upside down? The candy would be upside yeah. down and the note. I'm sure so they... I'm going to see if this will. Whoever was opening. You got to make it candy. so it is around the perforated box. You don't want to glue on top of the perforated box. So I'm going to try to line that up a little bit there. Where did you get this paper? From Cricut. So I was asking. If there is a description in the below in the what? description there is a link in the description there's a description <laughs> see i don't think i put that in the right spot either okay let's try another one be easier to put no if this is regular cardstock it would be easier I'm gonna line this up there and 
there. We're going to see if we're doing this very well. I can kind of hold this up in the light and see. You guys can't see unless I have the light underneath. But I can kind of see it. You can kind of see the shadows. When they're, when Do you want to turn your phone light on? Do you have your phone? My flashlight. Yeah. Ugh. I can get my phone out of my pocket. No, not camera. Okay, this one gets a Santa Claus. Okay, put it down. Oh, flip that over. Oh. They, hold on. There's too many lights. I know. See? There we go. Hold on. See, so you can see the shadow through there. So if you were using glue, uh, you would have time if you could flip it over and or hold it up to a light and then you can maneuver it a little. That's why I like to use glue because you can maneuver it a little bit. Maybe it's better without that light on. Oh, it seems kind of dark. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. We're going to add glue. Now you cannot put the rest of the bag together until this is done. Until you have both sides of this completed. I'll be honest, I don't think I have the patience for this bag. It's not that hard. Well, if we were using regular paper, it wouldn't be hard at all. I don't have the patience for this tape. <laughs> right. You don't need to use that tape if you're... Get off my fingers. <laughs> Just leave me alone. <laughs> Alex. It's okay. I know it's okay. You don't sound like it's okay. You it sound is. like you're crying. No, I'm not crying. It's just... Just don't think about it. Don't worry if it fits on your fingers. It's okay. doesn't hurt. I just want it off of them. All right. All the boxes I have are done with that. But there's, I see three more boxes. Do you want to make one? No, I need to. Yeah, I'll make this box. <laughs> Give me something else to do instead of just the tape. Okay. How are you guys doing? Do you guys have any questions? You can write more things you're grateful for. You guys give us ideas. What are we grateful for? Or what do we want to put inside the... This one says, I can do anything. Some inspirational things. I think this one's way off. Because if you get glue on the perforation, it's not going to open very well. That's why um, I say that. And maybe if we had a flat surface to work on. Do we have any dryer sheets? No. Darn. <laughs> I will have Can to you try set that. this over there? I'm gonna need it back. I don't know. I just want it out of my way for now. You pass me the glue. What for? The box that I'm making. I have to glue the corners in. Okay.
So once you have this on there, you cannot open it up. I'm gonna try to go faster. I'm gonna need more notes. I have to make this box first. Oh, the grateful for crafting friends. That is so true. We have one grateful for family. I have grateful for my parents and grateful for my siblings. Grateful for my wonderful son. I made him write that. Yeah, it was weird to write. He didn't, he thought it was so weird. Grateful for the internet. Definitely grateful for the internet. Without the internet, I wouldn't have all of you. Made many friendships over the internet. Yes, grateful for good health. Did you write that on one else? Yeah, I think so. Thank you for subscribing, Haley. Oh, this one doesn't have tape on it. I think it's all of them. Now remember, if you just use regular cardstock, you don't have to use the tape. If you prefer to use the tape and not glue, you can do that too. And I had to kind of hold these in if I'm doing a note and this, but you don't have to put candy. You could just put a nice note. You could put cash. You could put a coupon, you know, like free hug. You remember? We used to make those in school for Mother's Day. Like I will clean my room. Grateful for living without snow. Until I go to Utah. You guys, I'm going to Utah in uh, three weeks. I will be there three weeks from today. And don't worry, there will be a live video. Guess who's doing that live video? All by himself. Uh-oh, I got candy coming out. Whoops. <laughs> Good yeah. thing this is just for me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll be doing a live video, and I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> he designed a project all by himself yesterday. How many hours did that take? Six and a half. <laughs> yeah. But it took me a lot longer to design this one. I, well, the the only reason why it took so long was just trying to get it to fit into something and get everything yeah i had to do many test up, cuts like and make sure these are all sticking down <gasps> i forgot to do the tabs oh my gosh well i just kept going <laughs> Good thing this is for me. I did the tabs here. 
Was somebody yelling at me? No? Okay. Will you hand me the other one? Oh, I'm wondering why you're going so fast. I was like, there's no way she put the... Okay, here. Set that to the side for now. We are going to put the tabs on here. Do you have all the tabs? Right here. Make sure to put the tabs in. <laughs> I did show them how to do it. I thought you did all the tabs and then you were going to do the boxes. Well, I felt like it was boring. Uh, I'm not going to put glue on these because these do not have perforation. And so they will rip really easy. I put glue all over the other ones so they would... Um, open better like because I really wanted it to stick in there and remember some of these it's not supposed to have tape there I forgot and put it on the wrong side okay now all of these have tabs so it should look more like that yes you have to work for the prize I'll still be able to open it and all of these would have the Ghirardelli but I had a problem yeah show them the bag of treats I bought for this project we don't have enough to cover it you bought the best kind. Them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're so good. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have enough candy to go around. We have notes. So some of them might just have a notes. A note. Today is an amazing day. That's a good one. It doesn't have any tape on it. That one does. And I guess we'll just have it. It'll be an amazing day with no treat. Um, they both, the one for the maker and the one without the maker, both have tabs. Because, I'll show you. In a second. So this one did get, we broke it, you but broke it. I'm going to, I'll show you something else that you can do too. So on these that are uh, for the Explorer machines, if you don't have the perforation, if you use this file, it uh, is not cut on the corners. So you'll still have to, it's still, it doesn't lift up easily. See? So you have to pop that up. Look, now we got another treat. We can fill in another box. And then you have that. Now, you don't open these until your bag is complete. It's going to be a gift bag. <laughs> but for purposes to show you today, uh, we're not doing that. And then we'll need tape on these too. This one has tape. Santa one. I'm grateful for cricket, it says. I didn't tell him to write that one. I thought this had tape. I said Santa. We'll just have to put. Do we have any on. questions? I will try to glance at the chat. I wonder if that's 
sure I get the, the candy in there. The card is pushing it out. There we go. Yeah, if you have a maker and you don't have a tool set, you can use this one that does not have the perforation. Oh, and I was going to show you also, if you don't have the perforation, or if you break one, like this one's kind of broken, or was it this one? Uh, you can use the Zig Two-Way glue pen or any uh, glue that will dry and be removable or... Do you know what I mean? I'm going to put a little bit of this. And it will, if you let it dry, then it'll just be sticky. And then you'll be able to lift it up and put it down without it being permanent. How do we mark the outside of each box? So if you want numbers on them, um, I do have another file. I didn't get it cut out yet today. But you can put numbers on them, so like you can count down. And I was thinking to put them with vinyl, but then I was thinking, oh, I wouldn't want to accidentally open these up. So I think maybe just cut them with paper and glue them on. Or you could do little boxes and do stickers. print and cut. Yeah, you could make stickers to put on them. Uh, Vicki says uh, she's late. Advent is over. Is this for next year? No, this is a grateful Advent calendar. And it's going to be a gift bag. Let me show you over here. It'll be a gift bag that looks like this. And the Advent part is in here. So the piece that we're working on now will be on one of these sides and then you can flip it over so the idea is you'll have 12 on each side of the bag and then you can put the 25th gift inside the bag and then you have 25 little gifts for a birthday valentine's inspirational grateful or for christmas next year or for christmas next year thank you jen Jen says she's grateful for Melody and Alex. Oh, thanks. Thankful. Wanda is confused. What are you confused on, Wanda? Please ask. Please let us know. Okay, so this one has the temporary glue on it, and so I can just push that down. Well, maybe not on this material. Yeah. So I can just, and it will hold it down so it doesn't pop open. And then they could just grab like the corner and pop that open. Yes, this can be Advent for Christmas. You did have the idea for this before Christmas, but yeah. But creating I, the file and everything. It just... But it really was more for like a birthday gift for people that like to celebrate more than one day. Or I really like the idea of it just being a, something nice, somebody that needs a pick me up, somebody, you know, maybe they just lost somebody in their life or something and they need just a little reminder that they're special every single day. We're getting there, guys. I'm going to do these, too. So are you going to wait until your birthday to open all these, Mom? No, this is not for my birthday. Oh, okay. This is, this is just, uh, 
you know. <laughs> Whatever you want, a piece of candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I, yeah, it's, it's just a grateful gift for me to remind myself what I'm grateful for. No. I'm going to put these at the top. We can probably do this without finishing every single one. Yes, it could be a countdown to spring break. Countdown to the graduation. That would be a great one. But if you want to give it like for them after graduation, this one, I glued the little note inside here. See, look, that's not good. Stick in there. Let me add a little glue. Or is that going to sit? I keep picking these up that don't. This one's not going to get candy. You could put quarters in these for like little kids. I never heard of an advent calendar for anything else either. I just thought, why does it have to be just for Christmas? I am sharing this project with everybody who supports my channel on Patreon for $2, YouTube, if you're due $4.99, you get it, and um, Facebook for the $4.99. And if you want to know which side is the top, the top is the widest part. Like, see how this is not in the center of this paper. This is the bottom, and this is the top. I need more sticky things. I'm done with these. This one. If I knew that you had all this to do yesterday. <laughs> I was trying to get it done. Then I thought, well, I can do it in the morning. Yeah. You I'll... quickly ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't liking the way something was cutting. So I, had, I redesigned it again this morning. I do that a lot. It's very important, though. You have to. It takes a lot of time. Like, I thought something was just... I just read this one. I am grateful for my dream box. I am. How did you know? Because. <laughs> yes, you do not have to have the maker for this project. We have no more candy. Oh, yes, we do. And I'm using the Cricut Holographic Craft Board. I don't recommend it for this project. It doesn't glue really well. But 
we're making it work by using adhesive, dry adhesive tape. Uh-oh, candy sticking out. Go back in. We're almost done with this part. You can use a tool, a little too pokey late. tool, to oh. get off the red. Yeah. Way too late for me to be there. I know. That would have been nice to know a long time ago. But for you guys, when you guys do it, the dentist tool? No, that's not the dentist tool. The Cricut tools look like dentist tools to me. I was going to say, I don't have any real dentist tools. Thank you, Margaret. I have not shared this file yet. I will after the video. Ooh, the last piece of candy. says I'm grateful for the Cricket Club members. That is for sure. Could not do that alone. Okay, we're almost done. We only got two more to go. And then you have to put them back together. Yeah. But we're almost done with this part. I guess it kind of works out that you didn't have everything done because we got it done. Like You weren't really doing a whole lot of waiting on me. No. Do you, you could put those... Uh, clips away. They go in that jar. Yeah. We're going to need that red tape to put the bag together because of this. If you use regular cardstock, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but some people just joined. If you use regular cardstock, you wouldn't need that. What do you purchase? A double sided printed craft paper? Um, Cricut has a uh, double sided paper and it's all 50% off and it's the sale is not lasting long. Pattern paper. All Cricut's pattern paper, if it's their pattern card stock, it is all 50% off. Okay, I don't know why I have extras of these. I am grateful for chocolate. I was trying to think of something and I just looked at the bag. <laughs> but it would have been funny if you did the I'm grateful for chocolate one. And it didn't have any chocolate <laughs> in the. Oh. If there was no candy in that one. It yeah. Was the... <laughs> okay. We have extra pieces because I forgot to use these on the other side of the bag. Yeah. There's also a tag that comes with this. Are there any questions so far? Okay, Alex, now I need the other pieces to the bag. I'm gonna need the bottom. 
this and the sides. This is not, but that's okay. This is a bottom. These are two. So when you get the file, you have to cut it twice. I don't know. And, no, I do need that. And I need the other orange pieces. These are the bottoms. Thanks for subscribing. These are the sides. Thank you, Mary. This is one side I've already done. I was prepared for you. Now we have to make this into this. It's not very difficult. Just know this score line right there, the only reason that's there is so you know where to glue. Do not fold that score line. So these have three score lines here and then like a little triangle at the bottom and then this, this gets folded down. And then we fold it in half up here, the top, down to where these score lines are. And the sides get folded like that. It's really easy. So you fold it together in the middle down to this triangle. And then the two sides get folded back. So it looks like that. And then this gets folded like that. And then you kind of see these little triangles. You don't have to fold the end very well. That's fine. So then this one gets folded in half down the whole way and then folded back. Yes, there are 12 on each side of the bag. So you have 24 and then you can put the 25th gift inside the bag. Oh, this would be good for a wedding too. And maybe give tips for a happy marriage inside with some candy. That would be fun. So we're going to add glue here. Oh, you know what? We're not. We are going to add red tape. If you're using cardstock, glue will work just fine. The red tape is double-sided. You gotta take off the red layer and then you can't really see the tape very well. It's actually Cricut Holographic Craft Board. There is a link in the description. I'm gonna flatten this out and flatten this out. And line up the edge. Because I, I prefer to use glue because I can move it once I get it on. I can't really do that with this tape. Once you put it on, it's on. So now we have a very long side. Okay, so now once you get the sides finished, then we work on the bottom because the bottom also, um, you glue the sides to the bottom and we kind of sandwich it. So your bottom pieces have two score lines here. If you've watched my huge bag video, you've already seen this. I used cardstock instead of this. So this one, the sides are gonna go up and, hold on, let me think. This one, the sides are gonna go back. Yes, a family gratitude bag instead of a jar uh, for an act of kindness. That is a great idea. I was also thinking like for a grandmother, everybody in the family can write in their own handwriting on the little notes, uh, maybe what they like about that person. You know, how, you know, what makes them happy or, you know, that type of thing. Nope. So these are going to end up going like this, fitting inside each other. 
So on the bottom, you see pretty, and inside the bag, you see pretty. So that's why one has the sides folded up, and the other one has the sides folded down. And then we're going to, we're not going to put those together yet. We're going to glue these. I'm going to use tape. So the sides of the bag are sandwiched in between the bottom of the bag. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this tape. I lost my scissors, they're under there. Uh, what is the name of my nail polish? I don't know, It's it was like a hot pink and I chose like a teal or like a blue glitter to go on top of it. I just made it up, I think they thought I was crazy. So I'm just gonna put this tape here. I'll go ahead and add a little glue. Now we're gonna put that down right on the score line at the edge of this one. Now we have to do the other one. So I'm putting glue on top of the pretty side because that's what's going to be glued down. So we're doing the same thing to this side. We're going to score line right on the edge. Now this we don't have to use tape because it's paper backed. So it'll be paper up against this and this. And we're going to also glue these sides. I'm going to take the tip off of this. And then we're gonna fit this right. I kind of squeeze it a little so I can get it right inside. And we can push this down and get that in there good. This side's not perfect, but that's okay because these sides are not going to be seen. They're going to be inside the bag. Oh, I need blue little L-shaped brackets. Can you look for those? Yes. So in the video where I made the other bag, during the video we realized, how are we going to know this is straight? So we made squares. Oh. In that video. Oh yeah, this one's not shut. There, no. Um. Oh, the way you hold it, what it holds. I know. You don't put it like that. No, you put it like this. <laughs> I was making sure these fit okay. And it doesn't. Cindy says that she'll make it. Uh, but first we'll make it as a daily chore for her sons. Oh, that's a great idea to put a piece of candy in and a daily chore. Okay, this does not fit on the bottom. Uh, before I share the file, I'll cut some of this off. But it could be because of where I put my box. So I'm just going to cut this off real fast.
The reason for this is to make sure the bottom of the box and this part of the box is lined up. You know what, I guess that doesn't matter. Does it? Or, you know what? Hmm, it's not gonna fit down here all the way. What's this stuff called? Red line tape. Are you talking in the chat? Yeah. Because of the box. I will move, I'll, let me, I'll fix the file a little bit. But these are to make this, um, straight. I'm going to have to add tape to these. Where's, do I have another tape? One that's not wider than that, but not as wide as the big one. There's that. No. There was another there was one. There was another one, yeah. It's not under here. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to put tape on this piece. Oh, wait, not on there. I need it on the back of this. This is just going to help you get it, the bag set up. There, now when we glue the other piece on, this will be a straight corner. And we have one for each corner. wanted to do the long one here that's what I was doing oh well we're doing the long piece here I think I was planning on doing that on the side okay and I made a mistake here I did not get this I put this too far in so what we're gonna do I need my Cricut scraper and I'm going to hold this where we need it bent and I'm just going to bend it there. So it's going to get a new score line there. So the back of the bag is not perfect. The bottom. Yeah, the bottom.
Now I'm going to try this side with it this way. I need more of this red line tape. I just ordered some from Amazon. <laughs> Lynn says, okay, whose bottom is perfect? The reason for these little corner pieces is because otherwise it would be really hard to use this big piece to put down here to make sure it's straight and everything. I didn't put tape all the way to the ends. I could have just cut it off too. Because we're gonna glue the piece on here, I wanna make sure that these are good. Okay, make sure these are folded down. Okay, now we have to I like the perforation better. See with these boxes, I'm gonna, the reason I didn't share the files, I wanted to make sure it was perfect before I shared it. It's not perfect because I didn't take in count, for, I took in count for where these lines were cut, but not where the boxes are because the boxes are fuller. And this box is coming apart. There we go. I highly suggest you just use cardstock. Highly suggested. Okay. Did you do the false floor? No. I don't think I'm going to do that. I can tell them about it, but I have reasons why I think it might not work. Okay. <laughs> I don't want the bag to be top heavy. No. Okay. I'm running out of this tape. So I'm not putting it all the way across. Can you help me cut this tape, Alex? I'm gonna cut some. Put it, put it under your fingers and then cut in between if you're doing short little pieces. I know, but. I don't know what you mean.
I'm going to glue it in between this tape. Oh, before we put this on, we have to put the other piece on. Can you hand me the pink pieces there? Both of them? Just one at a time. So this is the top of the bag. So this is going to be like that. See, it looks pretty. That green looks prettier when you hold it up. The green looks so different in different light. So I'm going to put some of that tape here. This score line here is only so you know where to glue. Actually, I'm gonna use this one for that. Okay, someone says, can you just flip it upside down so the top has a wider margin? No. The reason is this won't fit on the lower margin. The reason this has the bigger margin is for this piece to glue to it. somebody because I noticed that you had to do it for the other side of it still too. I know. Is there any left on that one? Or is it gone? He cut pieces for me. Don't pick it up by the boxes. <laughs> and then this piece can go across here like that. Uh, you could also put like washi tape or no you know what the reason I did this I forgot was so this is another piece holding that on let's add some tape for extra support here I got a piece here and we'll go with the rest that tape is gonna like hold up like the clips did. You could also cut, if you have a wavy blade, you could cut this with a wavy blade on the maker. Oops, I'm poking in the Okay, so we have this side set. 
Let's go ahead and do the other side real fast. Can you set this over there and give me that one? What do you need? I need that box over there. And then I need the pink and blue piece. Is there another blue one? Yeah. Okay. I will go ahead and that blue piece. Yeah. But well, after I put it over here, you had a very confused look on your face. I know. I'm trying to. Is this what I did on that one? Yeah. yeah that's why I cut out like thirty little pieces of tape. I only careful. These are really sticky. Those are. It's the last part last of the Last of that tape. So what are you guys doing for New Year's tonight? Hey, Alex. Yes. Um, I was going to have you start taking these off, but no. Um, I'm chatting with the. Okay, keep chatting. Are there any questions I need to answer? No. I was going back a lot. Oh, well. I just was looking at the chat and I see, oh, someone else is from Kiki Ki. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I noticed. I'm reading the chat while I take this sticker off. Sorry this video is so long. Sandy said bonfire and s'mores tonight. Ooh. Joan's going, her and her husband's going to their favorite Italian restaurant and then home to watch a movie. It's always good. Lynn says staying home, too many crazies. Yep, there are crazies out there. Jen says she loves long videos. Yay. with you and I. These are also good if you're crafting and uh, you don't like to craft alone. You can put on a YouTube video. Cheryl's going to a friend's open house and New Year's party. Tracy, I'll, I'll still be here for a little while. I mean, you're going to the airport in three weeks and I'll still be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of friends like Fish and Kinky Key. Can you guys hear Alex well? Because the microphone's over oh, at the yeah. computer. I'm really far away, huh? And you're looking down while you're talking. Yeah, well, I'm reading. Well, you want me now to you're read? in my way. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Donna's going to a house party. Marion says her um, shapes on her phone app is grayed out. You need to delete that app and reinstall it or update it. Uh, we're going to do Pinterest inspired design space this Saturday. I will be going to Tampa tonight in the Ybor, Ybor area. Ybor? Yeah, it's like a really busy area in Tampa. Lots of bars and... But I'm, now I'm, he's not going to drink. Right, I'm going to work. He is going to be tonight's Uber driver for all the drunk people. Do you have your puke bags? I do have my vomit bags. I have some essential oils to make the car smell nice. What's your favorite essential oil for that? Hmm. Step one. What kind of essential oils do you use? Young Living. Alex is a Young Living essential oil rep. Okay. A lot of people like what I have in there now, which is lemongrass and thieves mixed together. For some reason, I don't like lemongrass. Okay, so we're almost done. And then for those of you who joined late, I will show you uh, some mistakes I did. And uh, we'll open this up and show you how it works. It doesn't matter what. Now, I made one for the Explore. One side is the Explore, and this side is for the Maker because it has perforation. And I forgot to add the tabs in here, and it's too late now. Okay. So I have. Oh, oh someone man. else is driving for Uber. I forgot. I need tabs to go up to here. So I need more stickers. Dang it. And I thought I was done. Oh, that's too fat. This, uh, I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. Uh, they're three hours away from New Year's in Kenya. Oh. Okay, that'll work. Just two more pieces. A friend of mine is from Kenya. Hey, Alex. Yes. See how fat I'm making these? I'm cutting these so they're not too fat. Yeah. To fit on there, I'm going to need four pieces cut for that one over there. All right. And then you can also start taking off the red piece. Okay. Peppermint is, uh, I like peppermint oil a lot uh, to put a drop on my tongue. It's like a. Yeah, but you don't want to do that with every essential oils. Young Living, you can uh, digest some of them, not all of them. A lot of them say they're pure, but. They only have to be 5% pure to actually say they're pure. I have, yeah, I have plastic bags in my car for garbage. Uh, I don't have paper towels. I have napkins, though. And shockingly, uh, I have a lot of people ask for, like, when they'll, they'll go to a, can you pass a good scissors? They'll go to a restaurant. So I have, like, wrapped forks and spoons in my car. Not for them to eat in my car, because I prefer them not to, but I do have them because sometimes they'll go through a drive through and then, then they won't get the silverware. So then I was like, oh, I got some. It happens a lot, so shockingly. Okay, I'm also going to add glue. You so say you needed four? Yeah. And 
I might do another taste test video if I can find one of the new flavors. Okay. You only need it for Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down and we are going to glue this to the bag. So see, we're gonna glue it to here. See, this is why I like glue and not tape. Because now it's stuck and it's not perfect. Don't look at the bottom. Use cardstock. Although, we could I didn't do that side very well either. We could cut a piece and put it at the bottom. This is scraps. You could cut this with the trimmer and add to the bottom. I'm not giving this to anybody, thank God. <laughs> And I'm never using this material again for the box. I'm using cardstock. But I just wanted these colors. Alex, can you hand me that? Okay. I'm going to put tape at the top of these. See, the glue you can move around. If you watch my other video, my huge gift bag video, that was much easier. Jen, I, mean, I think it was Jen. Yeah. Um, Tracy, uh, I used to have chewing gum in my car, but then people would just take all of them all at once. They would just take the whole pack. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna buy that anymore. Uh, I might buy some small bottles of water though for tonight. There's going to be a lot of drunk people. Don't I have bottles of water? Not many. And I drink a lot of those. So I, On top of the fridge, there's just a lot. But, no, there's not. There's not a lot left. Oh. I'm talking about small oh, bottles. Because I forgot to take these off. Can you help me? Because people seem to take a drink of water and then just leave the bottle of water in the back seat. So oh. That's why I was like, well, if I have enough... Bags will be okay. Man. People really like to leave garbage in the car. Which is annoying because then you pick up someone else and they're like, oh, you got a messy car. And it's like, no, I didn't leave that back there. You have to pull over and clean it out after each one. There's no time for that on a busy night. <laughs> You'll make no money if you shut off the app and pull over. And... Well, I don't mean shut off the app. Okay, lesson learned. We are not using shiny paper. We are going to only use cardstock. Use your heat tool or a hairdryer to soften the glue. It's not the glue. Oh my gosh, it's the adhesive. Oh, off this part of the bag. Oh, I got you, Jamie. I forgot to take the huh. liner off this part. Oh. 
Jamie just messaged me and said, don't forget to do that. And I was thinking I did do that. I didn't. I'm going to add more glue, too. Okay. I was going to say, I'm like, you might have to do this side because it's just, did I don't you get have it? my nails. So. So much easier with cardstock. I'm going to have to make another one. I need more candy first. It's currently 64 degrees. Okay. Someone asked. So can you hand that stuff over, Alex? So I have these that fit on here. These pieces, these are all free in Design Space, free images. Hold on. Just to add a little decoration, you do not have to use these. I just did here. I showed this in my gift bag one. So like you can put this like up here to have a little decoration. It also has a bow you can put here. It also has tags. You can't write on these. You could put vinyl or something or uh, print one in actual cardstock paper you can write on. Have the Cricut write on it. Okay. So the idea of this is, now this is the one where you do not need the Cricut Explorer and you open this up and you take out a little note that says, I am grateful for my health. And then it has a little candy inside. The Ghirardelli candies fit and come out. And then you have a little box. And so you pull the little tab. These, with the maker, these corners are kind of stuck. So you have to open those up like that. I'm just going to open up my thing. And then you have a note. So in the file, there's these little notes too. And you can change them to be all the same color. I did them all different colors. Oh, you could even deboss on the tag. Yes. Uh, Claire's asking how to become an Uber driver. Do you have a link? Yes. Uh... So then here's the one that is perforated and do not forget to put the tab in. I showed in the beginning of the video how to put the tab in. But like here's one I already took out the candy. We'll open another one. Let's figure out how to put, open up the ones that don't have a tab. Okay. So we're just going to lift this. This, I accidentally put tape on the wrong side of that. It says, I am grateful for family. Oh, and I glued this to that box. <laughs> this box isn't staying in very well. Got my candy. Okay, so now you can see the top of this bag. I was thinking we could put a false bottom, like make another bottom and put it on top of these bags. But then I think it'd be top heavy and this would fall over. But there is enough room to put like, you could put a shadow box in there or gift, you know, gifts of different kinds. And that one box is not, see how it's not stuck in there. But I think this would be a great gift just, I think it'd be a great gift for, I, for somebody that feels down, somebody that is maybe depressed or just needs to know that you're a friend type thing. I know someone out there needs this. Oh, we were going to try to open these up. So we're going to take, I'm going to do it. Oh, man, these tweezers. Move. My nail did just fine. Okay. And I barely have nails. Oh, look. But it didn't. It's ripping that. Let's see.
see the tab has a fuller piece. The reason it has a fuller piece is to help this rip better. See, that one didn't rip as well. Yeah, I can't get my fingernail in there. You just said, you tried for <laughs> <laughs> The card shot out. And there's a little Santa candy. This is candy from, I think Evelyn sent this one. Isn't that cute? There's teddy bear Santa. I mean, candy. <laughs> Today will be a great day. Okay. Now, it may seem like it was difficult. The most difficult part is putting this on here, but if you do it with glue, um, it's much easier and you can move it around. Yeah, someone going through therapy after uh, surgery. Will you pull that light up? And turn it up more. I don't know how I get, to do oh, that. Oh, these lights are like so low. There. Oh, don't oh. drop your phone. <laughs> I have to get a new one. I found it. No, we got to find the silver part. I took that off. Why would you take that off? Oh, it's there right it is. Okay, it's too bright. I can't read. Okay. The game operation. Yeah. Oh, I also had an idea. It's not a full idea. So you have to come up with the rest of it. <laughs> like a scavenger hunt type thing where you take, you you can number these. I do have a file with numbers um, that you can put on. Uh, so I was thinking like a scavenger hunt type thing where you put a clue in there and they have to go find another one and then they have, you know, send them back from that clue to go pick another number, something like that. Like I said, it's not a full thought. It's just a, an idea to work on. All right, guys. Alex is trying to close the glue. I got you it. You got it. Yay. Um, all right. Do we have any last minute questions? I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Happy new year. With, uh, we don't have any. Well. Oh, we should. And I didn't wear any of my hats this year. My holiday hats. I'm not getting them out. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> yeah, and I have more ideas for this type of a thing, too. So uh, I'll be creating more. All right, guys, I got to work on the file and then I will share it uh, as soon as I get that done. And if you guys make these, please make them and share them. Give if you don't. I want to see what they're people. They're really fun. I want to see what make. people. Uh, it is fun to make. It's really make. easy. You got twenty four of those little boxes, but once you get started and have them all cut out, uh, it's really quick. Especially if you use cardstock. Use cardstock. It's so much easier. You're eating my candy. We don't even like it. Yeah, I don't like the dark chocolate as much. I'll eat dark chocolate if that's all there is. Okay. All right, guys. We will see you Thursday night. Not sure what we're doing yet. I'll see you next year. Oh, this is the last video of the decade. Mm -hmm. well, when I just said we'll see them Thursday, it wasn't yeah. much of a scare, was it? No. I forgot about that. I wanted to scare you guys and say this is the last video of the decade. It's not a scare. Yes, be safe, Alex. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Toodles.